Hi there. Now, you, for this part of the question, you needed to find the speed of the particle p, and it turns out that it's 5.39 meters per second to three significant figures. So as usual, I'm just going to take you slowly through the work solution, or you might want to fast forward. OK, so with this part, then, all we need to do to get that speed is, first of all, work out the velocity and remember that speed is the magnitude of the velocity. And to get the velocity, I would want to differentiate the position vector. We use different types of notation for this. Some of you might use R with a dot over the top, or that means the rate of change of the position vector with respect to time, dr by dt. So whatever you do, you've basically got to differentiate this with respect to t. And for the i component, if you differentiate 2t with respect to t, you end up with 2 in the i direction. And then if you differentiate the minus 5t here, remember the constants, by the way, go to 0. but if you differentiate minus 5t, that's going to give you minus 5 in the j direction. And you'll notice we know that the particle moves with a constant velocity. You'd expect then this answer not to have t in it. OK, that's a valuable check. So it's not dependent on the time, so it's not going to change. It's a clearly a constant value. So when it comes to working out the speed, then remember the speed is given as the magnitude of the velocity vector. So if I just put that in that notation, OK? Now, remember, to work out the magnitude of a vector, all you need to do is essentially apply Pythagoras' theorem. What you're doing is taking the square root, then, of the sum of the squares of the components. So that's 2 squared plus and put 5 squared there. Remember, you don't need to put negative 5 all squared. And then if you work that out, you've got the root of 4 plus 25, the root of 29. We don't need plus or minus because it's purely a magnitude, positive value. And if you use your calculator on this, you'll find that it turns out to be 5.385 and so on. And remember, if you round then to three significant figures, it's going to be 5.39 meters per second. OK.